How exciting! <laughs> Sleeping in the background. <clears throat> Hello, welcome back to my little YouTube channel. I've got another unboxing to do. This time it's a proper genuine unboxing. I hope this is the item I'm going to unbox because I haven't opened it. It's got no sign on saying what it is. So fingers crossed, I'm sure it is the actual item. So I'm going to put on the screen what the item's called. And I will tell you once it's open as well. Excuse me, because I'll probably be looking at the wrong place all the time. I'm in the kitchen as well, which is somewhere I've never filmed before. So it's probably going to be all oh, echoey. I'm just using my phone to film because I wanted to do a quick video. Oh, this light's okay, it's blinding me. Anyway, yeah, we am. So, full disclaimer, I know that there's so much going on in the world at the minute. And the last thing most people are interested in is an overpriced handbag. I am totally aware of that and empathise with that. Um, but I just thought I'd do this video. This thing I bought, I nearly didn't buy because it didn't seem the right time to be buying luxury goods. But I thought, you know, I'm going to treat myself. Everything's rubbish at the minute. Holidays are cancelled. Everyone's unwell, etc, etc. So I thought I would do something a bit cheery. Cheer yourself up, you know what you like. So here we go. So, oh, so excited. So this is the actual real unboxing. I don't know how you open it, to be honest. Oh, there's a pull tab. It'd be funny if it's not the right thing, there's just some boring I mean, food mixer from Amazon or something. So here we go. Oh, oh, oh I've just seen the colour of the box, I know it is. Oh, 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 I know it is correct. Hey, look at it, oh, it's beautiful. So you'll know what it is because I'll be calling it the name on the video, obviously. So it's not going to be a surprise what it is. Oh, look at the box. I don't want to order many things, me will order from Louis Vuitton. Um, but this. Oh, this has been an absolute nightmare trying to get the bag. Long story short, I wanted the bag for ages, never appeared on the website actually in stock, so it just was unavailable to buy. Um, contacted my SA, bless her, she couldn't get a hold of it. I contacted Louis Vuitton Direct, contacted Louis Vuitton's um, every online thing that I've gotten to be honest, and every reply to us about it. So it, I went on the website, it appeared out of stock, but you can press a button to say notify me when available, which I did popped up available, trying to buy it, sold out straight away. Five minutes later, popped up available, then I ended up getting it. So it's, it's typical of one of these stories. You know, when you want something, you can't get it, and it makes you want it even more. And it's enough of showing an empty box, and nobody wants to say that. <coughs> so here is the piece in Chris John. It's upside down. I'm not gonna give you a huge big description of the box, because nobody cares about that. Right, let's see. As I say, I don't often order things mail order, so it's a bit different. So thank you for shopping with Louis Vuitton, blah, 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 blah. Can you even see that? I don't think you can. Oh, there we go. Hopefully it's not backwards. Um, there's the receipt, exchanges and returns. Because it was bought mail order, the good thing is when you order from Louis Vuitton online, you get a return policy, which is easier than returning to the store. So there's actually return details there. I'll just put that there. It's got my address on and stuff. And there's the exchange voucher. So if you do need to exchange it, that's what you need to send back. So I'm not bore you that. Nobody cares about that. That's the folder it comes in. Blah, blah, blah. There's the receipt. Nobody cares. <coughs> oh, I've got the frog in my throat. I was going to get dressed up for the video and get my big proper camera out, but I couldn't be bothered. So anyway, here's the receipt. So what it is, I've only seen two videos online about this video, about this bag, and I thought, I don't know anything about it. I've never seen it in a shop because it's never in the shop. Um, never really seen anything about it. I just fell in love with it straight away. So the bag in question, as you'll know, because it's the name of the YouTube video, is the Christopher Wearable Wallet Associated Smartphone. If that means because I bought it on phone. Um, reference number, if anybody cares, is M69404. Um, I'm not going to tell you the price because, as I say, it's a bit of a sensitive thing at the minute. There's the thing that that comes in. <coughs> oh, 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 it's so teeny. Right, I'm going to put it very, very graciously. Is that the right word? Probably not. I love, I love the way the packet. This is the little thing you get with it. It has an empty piece of paper in which you can use as a gift tag. And it is a little ribbon. Yeah, it is the box. Oh, the box smells lovely. You know what the boxes smell like? They smell like matches, and then you get matches, and they've got the striker on the side. That's what they smell like. I'm just waffling, can you tell I'm excited? Apologise for the um, noise, it's probably terrible quality because I don't have an external microphone. It's tiny. This is called a wearable wallet. I may put that there as a backdrop. I'll just rearrange everything. This is what YouTube. Louis Vuitton vloggers do, isn't it? They put stuff in the background. So this is the first time I've touched it. Oh, it's so cute. It's the first time I've touched it. I haven't seen it. I haven't felt it. I haven't smelled it. I haven't touched it at all. So 
One of my friends, I showed him a picture, my friend Terry, he said he didn't like it, but I'm sure I'll throw on him. Oh, look, it's lush. Look how lovely it is. So it is the Christopher, I want to, I forgot what it's called already, the Christopher wearable wallet in monogram. Oh, it's not lovely. So it's the monogram black Macassar, Macassar. It's got a nice leather strap. I'll do some close-up videos because this is going to not really show very well. You know I'm rubbish at doing these videos. So it's got to press it on the front. Ooh -ooh. Don't know why I'm going, ooh ooh. So I'm pressed it, something special. So that's where I could put a sandwich or something. And then inside, it's got this lovely black hardware. So I'll say I'll do some close-ups for the video. It's not going to be a long video because I don't really need to, nobody really wants to see really long Louis Vuitton unboxing video. Although these are the most popular videos on my channel, I must say. So it's got inside, it's got the care card. It says it's made out of plastic, basically. It's made out of plastic apart from like a little bit of leather on there. And then inside, I'm getting blinded off this light, I do apologise. So I'm going to do some close-ups on camera where I'm not chatting away. It's big enough to put my phone in. Hello, I'm videoing on my phone so I can't tell. But it's big enough, it better be big enough to put my phone in, otherwise it's useless. It's got a nice leather strap, the strap isn't removable, which is a shame. I'll do, some, um, I'll do some shots and I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go close. I see just coming in to join in the video. Hold your horses. That's my oven in the background. Oh, oh, oh look at it. Stephen's just coming in and seeing it and he laughed his head off. Oh, I absolutely love it. It's like a little camera bag. Just do some mod shots. Is the call it. Is. Can't see us when I do that. It's lovely, isn't it? This is as long as the strap goes. It's not mega long, but it's sort of like the right kind of length. So you can either wear it like that. So I say I was going to get dressed up for this video, but I couldn't be bothered. I love it so much, look how cute it is. Better fit my phone in. If my phone doesn't fit in it, it's completely useless. It is quite small. I'll put the dimensions somewhere as well. Hello, no me, I'll probably forget and not bother. So anyway, this is it. This is the, I think this is only the third unboxing video of it on YouTube. It's a lovely bag. I do love the hardware. Look at the black hardware. It's so nice. Very um, understated. This little pocket's going to probably get on my nerves because no doubt the popper will end up falling off and then it'll all go loose and baggy. Actually, it's a little bit baggy inside, to be honest. Never mind. All a little bit baggy, aren't we? But absolutely love it. This is going to be perfect for This is going to be my new theme park bag. So when I go to theme parks, I haven't got loads of stuff for this. If you're wondering what that is, it's a reflection of the light. I'll hide it with any big head. So this is a new theme park bag. So I'll just be walking down to the Pleasure Beach on the Pepsi Max big one. I'll just put my bag in the locker. Get off the ride, forget I put it there, never see it again, because that's what I usually end up doing. But anyway, I love it, absolutely love it. Oh, that's a bit annoying. The, um, this bit, yeah, the zip will be catching on there and probably getting on my wick, but you know, I have to live with these things. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm going to do some close up video shots of it so you can see it in all of its glory. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!